Welcome back to interview buddies. In today's video, we are going to talk about PG dump and PG restore. Um, so what is PG dump and PG restore? It's a utility for backing up and restoring your Postgres SQL database. Um, so let's uh, dive into it and I'll show you a little hands on on how you can do it. Uh, and then you can, you know, back up your database and how you can restore your database. So yeah, on my screen, I have these two terminal windows open. On the left side, I'm going to open a Postgres session. Uh, so PSQL Postgres. And you see here, I it doesn't show any tables or any relations. So I'll set the schema or the search path. public now I'll do D again so it's you see like a tons of tables here right and these are all inside Postgres what other databases I have you do slash L you see they're like multiple databases I have um, if you know about Postgres template zero is your default database and also your Postgres so so this is what uh, the database looks like Right, so I'm going to back up this database, Postgres database, and I'll use PG dump utility for that. So how we do it? So we just type PG dump and help. So when you install Postgres, these utilities comes like with it. You don't have to install them separately. And I'm on a Mac, so uh, it doesn't make any difference as such, right? So what I'm going to do, uh, it uh, it this is a list of options that you can you know read and 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 run the command accordingly. But for me, I just need my my database, right? So this Postgres database to be backed up. So I'll do pg dump and hyphen d Postgres hyphen d means your database name, and I'll just run this one first. So if I run this one, what will happen? It will create, it will create a dump, but it will print everything on the screen, right? So PG dump basically creates a list of, uh, not a list, it creates a SQL script that you can run later on. So as you can see, when I run that uh, command, it just printed uh, everything on the screen, right? And in the same command, if I give a file name, let's say backup one dot SQL. So everything will go into that file, right? Now let's open it. So you see how all the scripts and everything is there in this file and along with the data as well, right? So this is your dump of Postgres um, database inside my Postgres schema, inside my Postgres installation. All right, so this is one way of doing it. Um, other ways, let's say if you only want the data and you don't want, um, you know, all the other DDLs and everything. So you can just um, run the same command and you say uh, data only. Right, and I will say here backup underscore data. Right, and if I read this file, so you see how it just says um, copy commands for the data, and you know, for different tables, it has different data. Um, so it's basically dumping everything here. All right, so this is another way. Um, if you say if you have a large backup let's say or, or a large database and you want to take a backup you can you can do that uh, using the parallel jobs basically so pg dump again help so here it says um, there's an option called as hyphen j j means jobs or processes here the highlighted one, right? So if you have a large database and you want to do backup in parallel, you can utilize this option. All right, so so what I'll say is, um, 
I have two backup files. I have backup one dot SQL, which has like everything. Uh, backup data data dot SQL. It has only data. So let's create another database. Restored. Okay, let's name it restored and connect to that. And here nothing is there, right? Um, let's set the search path to public. Why I'm setting it to public? Because for some reason in my setting, I don't have that default set. I need to fix that. But but yeah, you don't have to do it if it's already you know set in your in your setup. So I'm going to store this backup one dot SQL into this restored uh, database, which is the new database that I created. So how you do it? You like there are like a couple of ways first is um, you just say psql hyphen d is your database like target database name because this is a sql script you can run this as it is with the psql command okay so you say uh, restored and hyphen f backup one dot sql Right, so what it will do, it will connect to this database and it will run this whole SQL file into the restore database and it it should, you know, restore the backup. So, okay, so you see everything is getting printed. There's no errors. It means our database should have all the tables of the Postgres database and you can see that everything is here. Let's query one table. Okay, so we have the data. All right, so PG restore expect a dot dump file. What we created dot SQL file. So how you can create a custom format using PG dump. So you have to specify that basically. So you say PG dump hyphen D Postgres. And then you say hyphen F, which is your hyphen F and C. I think it says custom format and then you provide the file name basically and which is your um, backup dump dot dump let's call it that okay and now you see the backup is created uh, pg underscore restore hyphen d your target database which is restore underscore two Again, we provide the, the, or we say that this is the custom format file. So backup underscore dump dot dump and then you just run it. So it didn't print anything, but if you see on the left side, it has created like all the tables and everything. And if we query, select star from employee and it has all the data. All right, so we created like backups uh, using PG dump, like two different ways dot SQL and dot dump and we restored the backup using PG restore command and just by running SQL. Uh, so that's how you do it. It looks um, not very, um, it's not very complicated, but in large databases, um, you have to be a little careful on how you do it backups and restore and the problem arises when let's say when you are taking a backup or when you are doing a restore and and you get an error in between and like there are certain ways to to you know work around with that and i'll talk about that in my next video but th that's all for today uh, hope you like it and don't forget to hit subscribe button thank you very much